satisfy things. So we're going to do that. And hopefully this will eliminate some of our tax evasion problems. Um, hopefully the air quality is improving. It is improving on its own. This is slowly going down. Car usage continues to drop. Uh, yeah, computer crime. Right, so our um, intelligence services we need to uh, bring up. The liberals aren't going to like it exactly. But uh, right now our terrorism has actually been going up somewhat. And get to the point where it's actually flat. Actually, maybe we should max it out. It will piss off some people. It's going to eliminate that internet crime pretty quick. We'll bring it to here. I hope that's enough. Mm, prisons, yeah. Tech advantage, still very good. Pollution dropping, cheap imports. Well, if we were here before, it would have never gone on, but we let it peak just a little too high. Maybe I should have dropped the corporate taxes earlier. It's hard to say. Yeah, racial tension. Yeah, it's not that high, so it's not so bad. Poverty. All right, overall, I still like the way we're going. We are hopefully still making more money and reducing our debt. Because some of our money is going there, right? Our expenses. Um, debt interest. Well, right now it's only a billion, but it could have gone up considerably. Most of our money is going towards health services, which is fine. I wonder if we could come back on our military. That'll piss off the patriots. No, we'll leave it there. Besides, state employees, right? Most of our, A lot of our state employees are just military people. Next turn. Oil pipeline after we increase our intelligence services? Oh, it's not in our country, neighboring country. Oh, oil prices are gonna go up. Well, supply goes down, which increases prices. Ooh, genetically modified food proposal. Do we allow it or ban it? And this is another incredibly complicated topic in real life. Um, I have like very sort of complex and nuanced opinions on, on various GM stuff, um, but in this game, obviously, we're going to ban it because we're playing, you know, hippy dippy socialists. So, ban the sale of GM food. We're in a recession still overall, but we are still making money, so that's good. The, the world is in a recession, but we are still positive, so awesome. People still love us and we vote for us happily. Alright, so oil demand is still dropping. Thank you very much. Car usage is still dropping. Air quality is improving. Asthma is. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Um, yeah. I think everything's still going right. What can we say? Oh, really, this isn't improving? Damn it. Well, we're just gonna have to live with that. Internet crime. Oh, is the intelligence services taking a while to trigger? No. Looks like it's there. Did I not put this in? Maybe I didn't put it in all the way. I guess I didn't. You know what? Let's just go all the way. Get rid of that internet crime. Next. All right, pollution is gone. Environmental experts tell us that our country's pollution problem is now under control. Our citizens no longer need to wear face masks when cycling to work. DNA database. No, we're gonna. We're not gonna take a DNA database. That is an infringement on the privacy and rights of our people and we are hippy dippy socialists so no asthma going down considerably because our air quality well air yeah air quality wasn't fed by pollution it was the other way around but still we're doing pretty good co2 is down unemployment peaked a little bit but overall we're going to be going okay tech grants right tech advantage still good clean energy subsidies still good Oh, it's still on its way to being implemented, too. Oh, that's the thing. These things haven't fully kicked in yet. I understand. That's what that meter is. Mm. All right. Um, I, I don't know. What, I don't think I want to do anything. At this point, things are pretty good. I don't want to fiddle. I don't want to fiddle. Next. High productivity? Oh, look at that. It's being hurt by maternity leave. But we're not going to get rid of maternity leave. This is amazing! It's gonna help our GDP that much more. We're gonna make more money. Factoring, factory farming law. That is a tough question. A campaign for the tightening of animal welfare standards on farms is gaining momentum. A law has been proposed that would set higher minimum standards for the space, food, and access to outdoors that is available to animals in intensive farming establishments. 
It's about time we did something to ensure animals are not suffering in intensive farming. Most people would be horrified if they saw the conditions some animals are kept in. And this is true. Um, most of the food you buy in grocery stores, the meat you buy in grocery stores, the animals are kept in deplorable conditions. It is terrible. These standards would lead to more expensive food, but people would be happy to pay more if they knew the conditions in which animals are currently kept. Or, nobody forces people to buy processed meat from the cheapest source. They, there are organic and free-range foods, but the free market shows clearly that people aren't prepared to pay more for a change in animal welfare. This is the government interfering in the market to appease a few campaigners. Obviously, we are going to go for this tougher standard because we are hippie socialists. Um, oh, we're currently running at a deficit. But again, we've been in a recession for a really, really long time. I think, frankly, we've done incredibly impressively. I'm not too worried. The economic cycle is really hurting us. We're going to be fine once it pulls through on the other side. Uh, the oil prices have been going up as well, so lots of things are hurting us. We've got plenty of time to the next election. Our debt's not terrible. We're, we're doing okay. Internet crime is dropping. Thank you very much. Inner city riots gone up a little, really. Again, mostly caused by poverty. Maybe we should take a more aggressive stand here to drop poverty down. What could we do? Well, we can spend more money. Uh, it may, it's kind of our thing, right? Maybe some welfare? Um, child benefits. Let's do that. Help out people with kids, right? Helps the poor, equality. Good, good, good. It's expensive as all hell. More parents. And the parents will like us a little bit more, at least. Alright, let's give that a try. I'm not going to overfund it any more than that, but hopefully that's going to be enough to tweak things a little bit. Immigration scandal? Oh, can't control our borders enough. Oh, well. Extradite terror suspect. A Middle East country with which we have no formal extradition treaty, has requested that we extradite an immigrant living here to them to face charges of terrorism. They accuse him of being responsible for car bombings in their capital city. But the only evidence they have of this is the confessions of other terror suspects, which may have been made under <clears throat> dress. Um, you know, dress is kind of like a skirt. Uh, so we can send them back Or we can keep them. We're gonna we're gonna keep them because we're hippy dippy socialists. But mostly, like we're we're very liberal, right? We're gonna assume like there's this not compelling enough evidence, and you know we don't want to be responsible for sending this guy somewhere where he might get killed. You know, yeah, death penalty. Oh, if the death penalty, then definitely not. Nope, 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 nope. Easy. Still in recession. Still in deficit. That sucks. People love me more and more and more, but I may bankrupt the country. I hope they're okay with that. Farmers hate me? Really? Oh, they don't like the, farm, the factory farming law, or the fox hunting ban, or the whaling ban, or the livestock import ban. Okay, so they're never gonna like me. The religious people really hate me, but their population is dropping, which is important, because there's less people around to hate me. And yeah, so that's going down. Poverty should drop when some of these things kick in. I did implement the child bent. That doesn't... It just makes people happy. Well, increase, increases poor earnings. Wait, which... None of this actually eliminates poverty? Okay, child benefit. Screw you. Or was I looking at the wrong thing? No, it just got rearranged. Why are state school? No, state schools are bringing down poverty. State pensions. Oh, that's expensive. Housing? They're all expensive. Unemployment benefit? It's low and not that expensive. Let's max this out. This will help reduce poverty considerably. Alright, let's see what that does. Asthma epidemic gone! Yay! 
Inner City Riot's gone. Hey! And now we have to appoint a senior judge. One of our most senior and respected judges has died, and now we need to make a choice for his replacement. Um, so we can have Ruben, who's a strong supporter of human rights, making many landmark rulings in favor of individual rights and liberties. He's also seen as being strongly pro-consumer and not afraid to challenge large corporations. Well, really, that's who we're going to pick. We're not going to pick the, uh, you know, the hardcore judge. We're liberal, not conservative. All right. Okay, that is fantastic. Parents are loving us now, even though we canceled the child benefit. Um, in fact, we could cancel the maternity leave at this point. I think. I mean, we're popular enough, right? We don't have to worry about pissing off anyone, and. This is just hurting high productivity and our productivity. This, it's actually stupid that this is the only thing that this would hurt. It only hurts the voting block. Like, it would hurt us with a voting block, period. It has no other effect. So clearly we have to cancel the maternity leave. Even though in reality, maternity leave is probably an important thing. But this is going to help our productivity go through the roof. Awesome. So, um... I'm going to cry my way down. We're like working our way towards a utopia. You just watch. We have a surplus, even though we're still in a recession. Uh, lots of people smuggling here. They're trying to... Yeah, we're going to let them stay. If they want to come to our country, that's fine. 92% of the vote. 92% of people would vote for us. How sick is that? Productivity. High productivity is shooting up. Productivity is shooting up. All these things are helping the GDP, which should be pretty good overall, despite the fact that we're in a poor economic cycle. This is incredible. Lots of international trade because of some of the decisions we've made, right? Um, that is over here, so we can see foreign relations are very good. So we get a huge bonus to GDP. Pays. It pays to be nice, people. Um, this is going down very slowly. Poverty is definitely dropping which has the effect on crime, which is dropping a lot. And the internet crime, hmm, slowly getting there. Let's, um, let's pump up our police service. Oh, they're already maxed out. Crime, what else would lower crime? Just more more funding for prisons actually makes liberals happy. I guess they're probably better prisons. More state employment. You know, it's not that expensive and it will help drop crime a little bit. There we go. Better funded prisons. And narcotics are outlawed. Alcohol, we could lower the minimum wage. Makes liberals happy, drops lifespan. Increases crime. Strong alcohol restrictions. Pisses off liberals, drinkers, makes less drinkers, lowers crime, even though, you know, there's, wouldn't there be a chance that there'd be, like, the mobsters? Increases productivity. There we go. Clearly, we're going to uh, strongly restrict booze. Cheers. All right, let's see what that does. Market meltdown? Uh-oh. We may not have done anything wrong, but a crisis in confidence in the overseas mortgage market mm, mortgages, has led to a global meltdown for the stock market. Big financial institutions are panicking, and there's likely to be a major international credit squeeze. The upshot of this will be a major hit to our economy in the short term. God damn it. We have an $8 billion surplus. Nuclear test ban treaty? Yes, we're going to sign that. No testing, nuclear bombs. Internet crime? Still trying to drop, but not doing very well. Intelligence services, why Why are you not better? We've maxed you out, dude. You should be better at this. Um, crime, crime's pretty low. Stupid stuff. What are we gonna do with all our extra money? Uh, is there a um, law and order thing we could do to help with the... Uh, do internet censorship. Phone tapping? Death penalty. Um, yeah, how do we deal with that? You know what? Let's start tapping phones for the fun of it. Liberals hate it, but the crime goes down, terrorism goes down. It's not even very expensive. 
universal monitoring. There we go. We'll just listen to everyone. That sounds like fun. I'm sure nothing bad will come of this. One party state? I've never had this happen. Party membership has reached such a high level that we now have total dominance over politics in this country. To be anyone of consequence, you must be the lead, a member of the party. Loyalty to the party and the state is everything. Congratulations, guys. We've just created a communist state. We've just recreated China or communist Russia or something like that. There's one party. We're totally socialist. We're monitoring all the phones. We have maxed out intelligence services. What have I done? <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, and now we have a $15 billion deficit. Oh, that must be the mortgage crisis. Euthanasia. That's... Okay, that's a hard question. Um, a once famous citizen, age 66, is suffering from a terminal disease and living in constant severe pain. Although modern medical techniques can keep him alive for many more years, he has expressed a repeated desire to be allowed to take his own life. It is incredibly cruel to keep people living in permanent pain when there is no hope of recovery and they have already expressed a will not to carry on with their life. As modern medical technology advances, this is going to be more common as we are able to keep people alive in pain or in a coma for many years. On the other hand, everyone has sympathy for those involved in these situations, but changing the law is the wrong decision. This would be the thin end of a wedge. Once the principle of helping people to die is in law, the pressure will be on anyone with a terminal condition, especially where medical care is expensive. Don't change the law. Personally, if I was ever in that position, I would want to be allowed to kill myself. I, absolutely. Positively. So, I'm going to go with legalized euthanasia. Alright, finances. What the hell, man? Market meltdown. That's the problem. Look at that. It's going to recover. It's going to recover. It's going to be fine. We're going to ride this out. We're going to be okay. Just chill out, everyone. Chill.